I think we can all agree that writing code is getting easier and easier. You've got Claude, Cursor, GPT. You can write beautiful front end. You can wire it up with your back end. Quickly connect external APIs and services. You can write full features from scratch. But infrastructure, that's still hard. Even in 2025, LLMs can stumble when it comes to deploying your apps or create a database or just get your usage information from your cloud provider. In this video, I want to show you something quietly powerful the DigitalOcean MCP server. It lets your LLM, the one you're already using, do actual things in your cloud account. Not just talk about your infrastructure, but actually manage it. You can deploy apps, create databases, upload files, check SSL certificates, and even optimize costs. All the stuff you normally would do in the terminal or by clicking around in the dashboard, you can now do just by chatting with your LLM. And now it works with more and more DigitalOcean services, from app platform to databases and more. You don't need to memorize API endpoints or write out curl commands. You just ask for what you need and it does the rest. Here's how it works. You add the DigitalOcean MCP server to Claude or Cursor or VS Code. Once it's added, your LLM can now securely call DigitalOcean APIs using your credentials, which you can get from the DigitalOcean console. And then you just ask for what you want. For example, I could ask, which apps do I have on my DigitalOcean account? And it figures out how to make it happen. In this case, it knows to call the apps list MCP tool from the DigitalOcean MCP server. I didn't have to open the dashboard. I didn't have to look up my API keys. I didn't even need to write a custom script. I just asked and it worked. But here's the cool part. You get to scope it. You decide exactly which DigitalOcean services to enable, like apps, databases, spaces. And that matters because LLM tools like Claude or Cursor work best when the context is small and focused. If you load up every possible tool, things get noisy. But when you give it just what it needs, it becomes surprisingly sharp. Remember, scoped means faster responses, better answers, and fewer mistakes. So use the services flag to specify which services you would like to enable in your DigitalOcean MCP server. All right, so let's make this real. Here are some workflows you can now run directly from your LLM inside Cursor, Claude, or any other MCP client. Let's say you are spinning up a new environment and need a Postgres database to go with it. You could just say, create a new PostgreSQL database in NYC3 region and confirm before you do it. This triggers the MCP server. It gets the list of available database clusters to choose from and then ask for my permission to run the tool. It sees that PostgreSQL is one of the options available and then asks me to confirm the details. Then it just creates a database for me. It even gives me the connection string I can use to connect to it when it's ready. I've been working on a Ruby on Rails app and I now want to deploy it to the DigitalOcean app platform. In Cursor, I could say, can you deploy this Ruby on Rails app in the current directory to the DigitalOcean app platform? I already have the specs for the app defined in the repo and the MCP server will pick that up automatically. Behind the scenes, it calls the create app from spec tool and triggers a deployment. No forms to fill out, no guessing which API endpoint to hit. It just works. Now, I've got some files in a folder called demo data that I want to upload to a spaces bucket. In cursor, I can just say, can you upload the files in the directory to the spaces bucket? I don't have an access key, so just create one and delete it once you're done for security reasons. And then I can also ask it to give me the public URLs for the files when it's done. Now, here's what happens. It creates a temporary access key using the Spaces Key Create MCP tool. Since Spaces is AWS S3 compatible, it uses the Bordo 3 Python library under the hood to upload the files. Then it deletes the key, just like I asked. And finally, it spits out the public URLs for all the uploaded files, all in one prompt, no manual setup, no IAM dance. Now, let's say you want to deploy an app from a GitHub repo. You can do that too. For example, DigitalOcean has this Next.js SaaS starter kit called CNotes. It includes everything you would need if you're starting to build a SaaS app. We send.com for email, Stripe for billing, authentication, file uploads with spaces, and even DigitalOcean's Gradient AI platform. To deploy this repo, I can just say, please clone this repo and deploy it to the DigitalOcean app platform. Here's what it does. It clones the repo locally. It then creates a GitHub repo in my GitHub account. And finally, it creates the app on the app platform using the same MCP tool we used earlier. All of that with one command. No manual forking of repos, no copy pasting YAML, no digging through the UI. Now let's switch over to Claude code and look at some billing and usage workflows. 
I can ask, how much did we spend on apps last month? It pulls the invoice details for last month and gives me a clear breakdown of what I was charged for. I can also zoom out and ask, can you show me the last 12 months of billing? And it shows me the full year, and I can double click on any month for more details. For example, May looks a little higher than usual. So I could just ask, why was May's bill higher? It turns out that I was experimenting with a few droplets and databases that month. It's good to know. And then one of my favorite things to ask, any tips on optimizing my costs? Looks like I'm not doing too bad actually, but it does give me a few suggestions on how I can consolidate some of my Flask webhook apps. Now, this doesn't replace your understanding of infrastructure, and it shouldn't, but it does reduce friction and save time by delegating the monotonous and repetitive work. If you wanna give it a shot, just head over to the DigitalOcean MCP server repo and follow the instructions in the readme. Let us know in the comments which tools you find most helpful, or if there are any tools or services you would love to see in the DigitalOcean MCP server. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Speaking of MCP, I'll leave you with this quick video by Ryan O'Connor from DigitalOcean team, where he walks you through how you can deploy your own remote MCP server to DigitalOcean in under five minutes. It's a great next step if you're ready to go a little deeper. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Starts when you start a client application like Claude Desktop. Wouldn't it be better if we could just connect to a remote MCP server without having to actually download any code ourselves? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna learn today. By the end of this video, you'll know how to deploy your own MCP.